Hi guys, this is Steve O and this is Tarantula Tastic Enclosures. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, today we are doing this particular build. Right, there is a disclaimer. Um, this appears to be like the most controversial build I've done. Um, I just want to say I've got no religious views or whatever. I just done it because the design in my head sounded really, really cool. Um, I've got hate mail over this. I've got loads and loads of grief over it. But the majority I went with you know, 80, 90% of the people really, really loved the idea. And as it was being built through the groups, obviously I posted pictures and stuff. I went with the majority and we carried on and we finished it. Um, I really hope everybody who watches this one is, <laughs> you just take it for what it is. It is just a tarantula enclosure. Um, that's it. And I really hope you enjoy this build. Right, without further ado, let's just get down to it. So guys, what we're starting with is this is one of my own designs so that's lived off it. And this used to be a fish tank. So we're giving it a little wood base. Obviously it's all glass inside so the wood doesn't affect anything. And then we made a lid for it as well. So for this build I might actually repaint it black depending on what sort of uh, background we go for. But this is a statue, as you can see, it's gonna be a perfect size for this one, leaving plenty of room so we can add a cork bark hide. So I might actually do it, say, at the corner here. And then that gives us loads of space to work around. So first of all, we're going to have to make the background itself. Right, so for the background, we're using some expanding foam. You've got to shake this to oblivion before you use it. Now what we're going to do, because we're going to have a background in one, two, three corners, you've got to do this in three separate stages. So you do your back. Remember, if you're using an old fish tank or whatever, choose the best side. You for the front so you don't want no scratches a nice clean side so we're going to do the back first remember you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom because the substrate is going to fill it and then we're going to leave it about 10 minutes come back do that side leave again and do that side if you don't do it in three separate ways you'll put the expanding foam on then as soon as you turn it on its side to do this side or this side um it's just going to fall and make one big slop mess into here so we leave it a little while so it's semi set and then we can spray that side and that side and then we're going to leave it for 24 hours to cure and then we'll come back and start doing some carving now it is expanding foam you use it upside down Remember not to put too much on. And try not to get it on your hands. Right, that's the first side done. A little bit more around for the top. Don't go too close. Do not get this stuff on your hands. I'm not using gloves, but I'm being extra, extra super careful because this is a nightmare to get off your fingers. Right, so we're going to leave that 10 minutes and then come back and do the other sides. Right, I've left it for a little while, so we're going to just... And for the next one... Now we're not 
going all the way to the start to the front with this one we're just going up to a certain amount now we'll leave that side and then do the next right so now we're just going to do the final side So what we've done, we've carved out pretty much how I want it. Well, it's still to leave loads and loads of space, but we've got other bits to add. So we're gonna grout this first, and what I've done, got some skulls made out of air dried clay. We've got a little skull mold. Got a eBay for a couple of pound. So we made a load of these skulls, but we're going to grout it first and then we're going to add these afterwards so they look like they're popping out in the background. As you can see, the little moulds put some nice detail in there. So once I've painted up, that should look pretty cool. Right, so now we're going to just grout all this. I must go in the front, so that minimises the amount of cleaning we've got to do. As you can see, and quite a few, these are just drying out on a piece of grease piece of paper. So we need to use them. It's the last of my air dried clay, so I just want to get as many as possible out. So guys, we've added all the grout. What I've done is I've added a bit of texture to where the skulls are not, so the skulls are gonna just stand out a bit. I've done this on the second coat. So it gets rid of all your cracks or any bits that you've missed. But I dabbed it with a paintbrush, just got a bit of grout and then dabbed it all over. So hopefully the skulls will stand out a little bit more once it's painted. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna base coat it and then we'll move on to the final paint of everything. So the base coat's on, now we're going to paint round the grey, but we're going to try and make those skulls pop out, manage to cover up all the white grout, done a little bit of paint on the star, we're going to touch that up as well. We're going to let this one dry first. Right, so we're going to, while all that's airing and drying out, we're going to start on the statue itself. And we're doing something called dry brushing. So you dip your paint in and you barely get anything on the, on the brush. And it's slowly just wiping it off onto the And what this does is it brings out the detail without having that solid colour. Plus you can build it up in certain areas, give it more detail. But it's going to be a long process because it's quite a big statue. So guys, we're coming to the last stage now so we just need to paint this background get them skulls to pop out and then we'll be well then we've got to seal it and then build it so what we've got here this is like a sponge brush so we get it so we've got barely any paint on there we're just going to start dabbing it round and as you can see it's 
sort of picks up the details better. I mean, you don't have to buy a sponge brush. You could use uh, just a cut-off bit of sponge off any, you know, washing up, whatever, as long as, you know, it's brand new and cleaned, it don't really matter. But as you can see, when we come round, we try and avoid the skulls as much as possible. And then I think I'm going to do those, dry brush them red so they really stand out. So we'll come back once we've completed that bit. <laughs> literally took about five minutes it's just a quick dab all over as you can see the skulls are starting to pop out now so we're gonna try and dry brush all red and then we're almost there so what we're gonna try and do with it we don't want them like bright red we just want them just want to pick out a few details just a slight red on the background but you can see from that then that I just want to pop out now but still looking like they're coming out of the wall only a few dozen more to go So, all we've got to do now is let it all layer out. I'm quite happy with the way it looks. Obviously, blanked out the sides of vinyl to hide all the expanding foam. Just give it a neat and neater finish. Definitely glad I repainted the base and the lid. Looks loads better, right? Leave it to air for a few days and then set it up. So there we go guys. All set up. Now down there is a nice little hidey hole behind the wings for the hide. I've got a water bowl as well which I've repainted to match in with the walls. What's left to do now is add a spider. So there we go. It's P Metallica. Colours. Right, let's go and have a look under the display wall. There we go, guys. I'm really liking how this turned out in the end. I like the way the water bowl sort of blends in. I've added some like dark black branches as well. The overall effect looks quite cool. Now yeah, these just quite solitary spiders, so it's got a nice space right behind the wings to build a little web hide down there. So it's about this time of night when all this hard work actually sort of starts paying off. Everything's all displayed. We don't keep these lights on all day, we just, a lot of the top ones are kept on because we have real plants and stuff in there. But 
I think the knee enclosure fits in pretty well. Plus we've got another cupboard full of Exoterra, so we are not done with this. There's a lot needs to be redone. The bottom shelf is just a bit rubbish really on the bottom, so we're gonna start moving our way down. Probably redo a couple. But this is the enclosure at the minute. As you can see, the little pea metallicas just up the top there. No doubt it will build its hive just behind where the wings are. But I love the way the water dish is all blended in. And I do like that now the vinyl's on. Everything just looks that whole little bit better. If you want to see any of these builds done, every single one is in a video on this channel somewhere. So just have a look through them all. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed that one. As you can see now, it's up on the display wall. Just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to move on to the next build very, very, very shortly. Um, I've got a few builds, um, other videos coming up. And obviously we're going to the British Tarantula Society show on the 22nd of May. So we're going to do a big video um, for the show there. That'll be coming up in a couple of weeks. Um... Apart from that, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please take it for what it is. It is just a tarantula enclosure. I really, really wanted the, just the design in my head to come through, and I hope it. I hope it, it did. Please do comment down below and tell me what you really think of it. Um, I love reading all your comments and all the support we you guys have been giving me over the last two years. Um, if you have a look, little gander down below, we've just on over 5,000 subscribers so we will be doing a big giveaway soon in a couple of weeks as well um, just to show my gratitude we just done one for the Instagram 10,000 followers giveaway so we're going to do do one for the um, <coughs> for the five, 5k giveaway as well so that'll be coming up thank you very much as always for watching guys it really every single view like comment everything has really really spurred me on um if i i don't think if i'd had as much likes and as much comments and it would have all been hate for this enclosure i'd have probably called it a day and not finish it but i am really really pleased i just stuck with my guns and finished it most controversial tarantula enclosure maybe maybe not <laughs> i think it's just a cool design and that's that's all i'm going with apart from that guys really Comment down below, really love your comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. It notifies you of upcoming videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, till next time, I shall see you later.